And one of the first things is that the family itself disappears. Today, there is a social statistic that only one in 17 families eat breakfast together or eat dinner together. So if they don't eat breakfast and dinner together, how they will maintain, how they will supervise, how they will coordinate the values of the family. Because dad, he's rushing out the house with a croissant and a, and, and a cup of coffee and a, and a cigarette. Mom, she's packing the lunch to the kids, some Kool-Aid and some other little sandwiches or cookies put in the bag for them, and she's off on to, she's going to her job. The kids are eating by themselves, the parents are eating by themselves, and when the children come home, they're, they call them latchkey kids, I think you call them, meaning they let themselves in the house by themselves. Dad is still at the work or at the pub. Mom, she's shopping or she's at the hairdresser, she didn't get home yet. She left a microwave dinner on the stove for the kids or she just told them, go to McDonald's or go to Pizza Hut or something, get yourself something, I'll be home soon. By the time mom comes home, the kids have already watched two or three hours of whatever kind of TV they can watch. By the time dad gets home, they usually sleep or pretending to be sleep. The children have a television in their room. So Janie has her own TV. Johnny got his own TV. Mom and dad got their TV. And there's another TV in the room, in the living room for the guests. This is the modern nuclear family. The family has disappeared. Another sign of the erosion of the society. Another sign that their destruction is imminent. So the Muslim woman must guard her morality. Because by the Muslim woman guarding her morality, she will fortify the Muslim society. And as the other society on the outside is crumbling apart, the Muslim society is building and developing. And all we have to do is leave them to themselves. Like rotten teeth, they will just fall out. Our children and our wives and our families will be fortified. They will grow. And the other people, their families will fall apart. We will have fabric, they will have no fabric. And this is the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.